over $450 by shorting Bitcoin. Why did I place the Bitcoin sale trade when everybody now is buy, starting to buy Bitcoin? So in this video, I'm going to show you, share you and demonstrate you two most effective supply and demand zone trading strategies for quick scalping trades. Okay, so quickly get into the trade, get the profits and close the trade position. So, uh, so let's dig in. Okay, so supply and demand zone. So first of all, once you're going to learn these two quick strategies, okay, again, sky is the limit. And if you will watch this video until the end, as usual, I will give you free gem. Okay, because I have found supply and demand zone free indicator on trading view okay but that's i will show you that by the end of the video so make sure that you stick around so first of all supply and demand zones so supply zone right here is usually the area where traders are selling and the demand zone is usually the area when you know buyers are starting to buy in once you can identify supply and demand zone sky is the limit and you don't even need to use any indicator and by, because once you can identify your supply and demand and zones then all you need to do is make sure uh, all you need to do is you need to find the uh, you know the best entry point by either uh, looking at the breakouts or by uh, continuous looking at the trend continuation but I will just talk about the strategies so usually what happens is uh, these supply and demands are zones not the price points once you can identify the zone all you need to do is uh, look where that zone will be broken before you jump into the trade. Uh, so usually it's like this. If this is accumulation period uh, for the demand zone, and then the breakout, and then the trend is going up, uh, little, doing little retest, going up again, and then it's entering its supply zone, where it's basically resisting, okay, hitting the same point as a resistance point, and then once the steam is off, uh, steam is over, it continues its way down. And once we can identify these by looking at the candlesticks, guys, sky is the limit. So first of all, let me just demonstrate to you quickly uh, the supply zone. So this is how the supply zone looks like, okay? Um, it's a zone, uh, and that's the biggest mistake for the new, from the newbies. Why newbie traders are losing money when using support and resistance trading strategy because supplies and demand zone strategies are different. Here we look at the zones instead of price points. So this is our supply zone, meaning that uh, whenever this zone is identified, we know that whenever price goes uh, close to that zone, we should see some rejection, like we can see here, 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 here and here. So basically one, two, three, four, five times. But what if we could identify this by simply using an indicator? So wait at the end of the video, I'm going to show you the free tool. Now, so the supply zone, okay, now the demand zone. So how the demand zone looks like in real life? So the demand zone is the price area at which the traders usually buy. This area is present below the current price, where the buying interest or potential is the highest. This means that demand zone has many buyers available due to many buying orders at that level. Uh, the char this chart uh, you know, will help you understand the demand zone concept more properly. In the chart you can see the instant move to the upside. Uh, that's because when the price rallies up to the demand zone, some orders get filled, uh, while the unfilled ones get absorbed. So imagine using the demand and supply zones and the uh, volume order blocks. This is something I'm, I'm, I will focus on my, uh, you know, in my next upcoming videos. Right, it's easier said than done, but how to identify supply and demand zones on a chart? So identifying market imbalances is the first step in finding supply and demand zones. Uh, in the simple words, market imbalances refer to big price shifts in a direction, either upward or downward, based on fluctuating supply and demand. So. Uh, this chart right here shows when a demand is more than supply, the price rallies up. Probably as you can see it happened from this point forward. Uh, and this represents by big green candles. So whenever it's broken out, we're going to see one, two, three, four. You see the huge big green candles uh, above this area right here. When the supply is more than demand, the price drops. As we can see, the price drops from these areas right here. Uh, now, these big candles are usually 
uh, are usually the price mom, uh, movements, showing us the market imbalances on a chart. The key point to remember while finding the market imbalances is to keep an eye on the big candles only. Right, so the step one. First, you need to spot the current price on a chart, which you can see is right here. Then look at the left side on a chart and find a big strong lineup of candles either moving up or down. Typically, supply zones show upward movements and demand zone shows downward movements. Now, step number two. Now we need to focus on the left area of the chart to find the extended range candles, okay? Uh, ERCs, so the big candles. Uh, you can identify these candles by their long bodies um, with a little or no wicks. Remember that if any candle has an equal size of wicks and body, it's not an extended range candle. But as we can see here, this is bigger. Uh, this uh, uh, bearish red candle is bigger than this previous uh, shooting star, uh, uh, you know, green candle. And step number three, we need to identify the origin of the price moment. So finally, we need to identify the origin of the price moment on the chart, as in this uh, chart example right here. The price rallied up with the small sized candles, paused for some time, right? And then dropped downwards by two extended range candles. Where are our extended range candles? If you can, can you identify? If you say that uh, these two, then you are correct. Again, it's not that hard to spot. All we need to spot is these zones, okay? Uh, now, this is the origin we need to form the base of the supply zone. This base will help us draw the zone. Okay, so now that we understand, now that we have learned how to identify supply and demand zones on a chart, now let's take a look at those two of my favorite supply and demand zone trading strategies. So the first, my favorite, um, first strategy that I really like regarding the supply and demand zones is this one. Okay, the range trading. Most traders use stochastic indicators to identify overbought and oversold market trends. Okay, since range trading is a non-directional trade, trend-wise, you can easily identify long and short entries in a markets easily. Once you view all the conditions on a long-term chart, you can then zoom into a smaller term for a smaller time time frame to spot the perfect entries. This is for our Bitcoin chart, and as we can see, whenever it breaks here below the 20 line on RSI, its price tends to go up, and this is exactly what happens. And again, when the price goes above this 80 line on RSI, the price tends to go down. Any magic, any, any magic here, guys? I don't think so. So bre uh, breakout below, you know, hits this line. So breaks below, we wait. We wait until it breaks back into the Z zone again. And when that happens, this is a great time to place buy trade. Then again, we can see that it breaks above the 80 line. And whenever we see that RSI and signal K line crossover, it tends to go down. And whenever it hits this point, this would be great for our sale positions. Uh, okay, you can see, you might see, you might, you might think that Andrew, okay, uh, breaking below 20 line and breaking, uh, you know, breaking above, the, sort of breaking below this line and this line might look easy, okay? So, but it, there is not much price movement. Well, there is a lot of price movement because as you can see from this breakout until this until this area, it's what is it? It's six percent. It's six percent in a price. But as you know, we can use up to 125 leverage on cryptocurrency exchanges. So this one price moment could be significant in terms of profits. So bear with me, okay? Uh, make sure that you stay tuned for my next project, which is going to be cryptocurrency trading group, because the, you know my admins currently are making crazy, crazy gains. Uh, but you know, so stay tuned. So now let's take a, so this is one of the very, very pow powerful uh, strategies by simply using supply and demand zones and RSI, okay? Now, uh, now let's take a look at the other one, okay? The breakout strategy. So since prices always keeps fluctuating in a, in a financial markets, traders look for the ways to enter into the market in a favorable conditions, such as in this direction of the breakouts, okay? 
as it could be the start of any trend. So whenever the breakout happens, it's a start or could be a start of new, medium to long term trend. So in this chart shows a breakout of the trading range, but unfortunately goes back towards the demand zone. Okay. So in this case, the traders who opt for a short trade at the breakout are more likely to be stopped out. You know, so it really is to understand that you need to formulate a breakout strategy and anticipate the moment of the trend back to the demand zone before opting for the short trade. So if you're a newbie, I would advise you to use uh, one of the two indicators I'm going to show you. Indicator number one, of course, would be the Fibonacci retracement. Whenever you see that the price is going, so let's say let's let's say that all of this stuff we don't know and we didn't see, okay? Uh, and let me just do the quick replay, let's say from here, like so, from the highest point to the lowest point, and let it go. And what do we see? We see these zones right here. Remember that these zones 0 0.618, 0 0.5 and 0 0.382 is the golden zone. So if I was a newbie trader, I would trade these zones and these breakouts, and as you can see, uh, when I <laughs> look at this, whenever price broke out of this zone, we could we saw huge, huge red candle, and then again when it broke this zone, we saw this candle, and it actually looks like this candle I broke exactly, nearly exactly in the, these exact areas. So whenever we see these breakouts below these or above these areas, I would trade those. So sell here, take profit here. Sell here, take profit here. Makes sense. And vice versa for the buy trades. Whenever we see red, green candles, you know, going upward, I, you know, we could look for the buy opportunities. Buy here, take profit here, and again buy here and take profit here. Then we see that price is going down, and we can see that again it's touching and breaking out of this uh, zone. So here, what we would do, what we would do here, tell me how to make money from seeing something like this. Yes, make sale trade, we play sale trade, we make profits, we make profits, and where we would take our money? Yes, we would take our money at the next level, which would be here. Breakout, okay, breakout, buy trade, take profit, buy trade, take profit, buy trade, take profit, and then poo, green, red candle, sell, take profit, sell, take profit. I mean, do you see how powerful this is? So I would use Fibonacci if I was, comp if I was newbie trader. Now, if I was a more experienced trader, I would use this indicator I want to show you that I found out. Supply and demand zone indicator on a trading view. And the name of, of this indicator is this one right here. Uh, by JP7FX. Go to indicators, uh, search for supply. Sorry, not supply, supply and demand zones. And this one right here, supply and demand order blocks, multi time frame by JP7FX. And when you put that on a chart, you will see something like this. It's showing us the supply and, dem uh, supply and demand zones. So this would be per this is great. This can be greatly used for longer term trends. Whenever you see the price, uh, you know, going into this zone and breaking below this is a media you know this these are a great great selling opportunities because these represent huge price momentum huge price swings if you need any help in trading you know where you can you can always email me and you can get your free ebooks from my website andrewstradingchannel.com completely free gift from me to you and of course if you want to join my academy and copy my trades from monday to friday uh, in my trading community, then you're welcome to click here below any of my videos and you will see here uh, Copy my trades every single day uh, and yeah, but always remember education and practice is the key for long-term success and it's much more valuable to learn uh, trading strategies, you know by heart Practice those and see that they are bringing you positively daily results. That's the best way and that's how you will come uh, independent, you know financially free by using your own trading knowledge. Thank you for subscribing and liking this video. And if you have any questions, please email me. And I love you all and see you again on the other side. Bye bye and God bless.